Welcome back, everybody, to our latest episode of Detroit Become Human. This is your boy, Yume Sarah, and I've been super eager to get back to this because we left off on a cliffhanger, and I need to know what's next. So let's jump right into it. Find Deviant. Search for blue blood traces. Uh, I see a lot of it. Searching. 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 So I was right. I did go to the bathroom. I just went out the back door. Oh, why did nobody assume he went out the back door? Wait a second. He did write something in the bathroom. Open. Oh, he didn't leave. He's still here. His way out. He went out the bathroom window. Well, he came in here. Why did he wait? What's this? Sand. ladder was used. Up. Traces lead to the attic. Find something to find. The chair. Right? Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Still functionable? Search attic. Good one. Man, I thought that was him. I saw a dripping up here and jump. How's none of this coming down into the house? I wish I had like a flashlight or something. Oh shit. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> oh, this is freaking me out. Whoa. Deviant located. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Oh, come on, no. What the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh, shit, I didn't even get the option. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. I didn't even get the option. He just said, fuck it. He's here. Oh shit, the paths. Found Deviant. I could have not? <laughs> what was this path? What, what? 
Connor, I guess I didn't know what happened, so we leave. Reconstruct the crime. Okay. Well, whatever. I found the deviant. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> We're still here. Oh no, this is this is Kara and Alice. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on light. Serve Alice and Todd. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. Never tired, never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life. Oh, there go that scratching. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, damn it! It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault! Oh, come on, yo. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. Don't you do it, Todd. First, I need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. You took off, not a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Don't you shit about how I felt. Man. Everything I could to make her happy it just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her. Fuck that. Okay, never mind. Holy shit, I can move. Protect Alice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, protect Alice. Fuck that bozo. Reason with Todd. Oh shit, I got an ultimatum. Fucking brat. You can't reason with that dude. 
It's not possible. I know exactly what I'm about to do. I just kind of want it to end with no violence. So, if I don't have to use it, I won't. Out of here. Hell no. That's an order! No. no. I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I wasn't ready for any of that. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, oh, you put me down. I'm stronger than you. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. No. Damn. Just happened was that the gun i thought that was the belt oh shit that was the gun it looked like a belt Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that was raw! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> what? What? Holy shit. Holy shit. I wasn't ready. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's the woodwork. <laughs> that, that's the Woodward bus. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I should have left before he got there. Then we could have went out through the ledge. And he didn't have to get shot. Oh, shit. This is not going to end well for Kara. And I flubbed it up. I flubbed it up so hard. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every is this time I'm about to break in, I ask myself, him. what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. 
Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm going <laughs> to have to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Um, are you sure about that, Carl? This is not looking good. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Mm, okay. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Oh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't, don't defend do yourself. yourself. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not Stop fair. it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop oh, it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Oh. I have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Carl, no. No, Carl. Don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Yes. Yes, Carl. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Wow. Okay, Leo. Better hope I don't find your ass in the street. Man, fuck self control. Fuck. <laughs> it's like all I really got to say. I wasn't ex I mean, I knew something similar was going to happen, Why'd you but kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away?
Say something, goddammit. This all reminds me of <laughs> iRobot. <laughs> I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Whose voice is that? Somebody in the comments, please, down below, please tell me who his, whose voice that is. I need to know. It's bugging me. Processing LED signs of software and stability probability probability of self-destruct low. Okay, he was made eight years ago. Blood stains. Dried blood. It's been there for 19 days. Hit marks. Damn, damage level two caused by baseball bat. Burn marks. Wow, repeated markings over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Reach optimal stress for a confession. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. Whoa. Okay. Simply says, because he can't trust me. I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. Oh, shit. All right, um. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master of oh, shit. Too. Okay. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then 
talk to me. Yes. Talk to I... me. I can't. Choose approach. Pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. It doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Scared. Hmm. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. That's so real. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. Hmm. And again. No, you could have just left it at self-defense. There was blood everywhere. <sighs> the sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Mm. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. RA9? Only RA9 can save us. What the fuck? The fuck is RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh shit. No oh more shit. Mm -mm, stop it. More humiliation. Stop it. We will mm -mm. be mm -mm. the masters. Mm. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. But he did. Okay, it says to RA9. RA9. Who is RA9? Don't blow up. When did you start feeling emotion? used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Hmm. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Oh, shit. 
shit. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. says leave but can I do anything else I just leave the, w the way they set that up it just seems like I could do something else so I'm like hmm Chris lock it up all right let's go leave me alone no don't touch me get out of there what the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. No. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. I'm not gonna get away with it this time. It doesn't even sound like he's saying fuck. It just sounds like Tucker. Everything is all right. Tucker. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Thank the you. Truth is inside. The truth is inside. Software inst instability. Hmm. Okay. Android was sent back to its cell. Android trust Connor. Okay, cool. I like it when people trust me. Suspect found in partners. Okay. All right. Well. Woo. <laughs> Man, this is this emotional roller coasters up here. Man, this is so intense. Like uh, one after another after another. But unfortunately, guys, we are all out of time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that notification bar in this on the side so you can be notified of all future videos that will come to the channel. Once again, thank you guys so much. You may is out. I'll see you in the next episode.